All right, let's just leave. Mama left. No. <laughs> All right, today we are going to um, what's it the called outlet again? Mall. The outlet. Not the. I don't know if it's an outlet mall, but it's just called the outlets. But we're specifically going for the Disney store in San Marcos, which is about forty-five minutes away. So we'll see what they have and report back in a bit. Okay, guys, we are at the Tinger outlets here in San Marcos, and we did hit the Disney store. I didn't film any there because music was like blaring loud in there and then um they didn't have like we got we got some stuff emma got some the moo moo emo the little toys that they have um she got some of the the bling and whatever you call it for them oh yeah she did get on and elsa some clothes for her dolls yeah so yeah, um, yeah, yeah, but I dropped them on the oh she dropped them okay we'll get them in a little bit baby and then, um, but they had those for her dolls. They were actually pretty good price. They were like six bucks or seven bucks. I think those are like typically closer to 15 or 20 at the, at the parks or at the Disney store. So that wasn't a bad deal. Um, they also got some of the minifigs, the Mar Marvel minifigs. I think those were like $5, maybe four or something like that. Um, I think we ended up spending like a total about like a hundred bucks. And that included the backpack that we got here, this backpack right here, Disney backpack. I think that was like $10 or something like that, somewhere around there and then liam got a couple of shirts emma got her yeah new 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 emo new emo no. i don't know how to say it Whoa. but Whoa, what characters do you have at the house for those um Minnie, daisy and donald mini daisy and donald and daisy and donald you got at disney world when we went last summer right yeah yeah so we have those and then mini i got from Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mickey Mouse sent Minnie. That's right. He did send Minnie Mouse for you that, that last time. So, and now the kids are inside of Box Lunch, which is right, it's right back over there somewhere. But, um, Molly said they have, sometimes they have Disney stuff. So they're gonna, they went in there. I sit in the car. I'm hungry. So I think we're about to get Wendy's or something. There's a Wendy's right up the road over here. And then we'll head back. So it's not even a long trip. We just kind of came out here to, just to go to the Disney store, because we don't actually have a Disney store in San Antonio anymore. This is it, the one that we have in the Tanger Outlet, because all the other ones are shut down. So, it was cool. It was fun. There's a lot of, you know, little here and there's, uh, but there, it's not always like a jackpot, I feel like. Sometimes, sometimes you go there and, you know, you're looking for, like I was looking for Haunted Mansion stuff. They had Haunted Mansion stuff, but it was like a woman's purse, you know, stuff like that. So I'm like, well, I was looking for like a mug or something like that, but they didn't have any any of that kind of stuff but next wendy's and then we'll head back home and i don't know what we're doing the rest of the day but we'll see what we do mckaylee and i are going to go listen to this record come on mckaylee all right guys we got this um target exclusive nightmare before christmas it's vinyl in case you're wondering i had it real close you might have thought it was a cd but it's a vinyl so we're going to go to the garage where i have the record player set up and um we're going to listen to it where's the other one In the okay thing. all right guys here is the magical actually there's two discs the first one is purple kind of looks weird the color looks weird on my iphone right now so i'm hoping this actually shows up right let me get a little more light too this month. there we go and um this is my we just bought this last month this record player it's super cool it's audio technica it's like the budget one so not expensive and it has where you can just plug in some powered speakers and it works beautifully it also has this auto start feature so watch this oh you want it on the number three though don't you uh -huh. well let's just start with this one first mckay and it just automatically does it here in a bit let's turn it up and oh yeah this is good <laughs> we're gonna get copyright strikes now <laughs> So eventually we want to get this um we want to get this record player upstairs but right now this is perfect kind of setup for it because i have all my computer stuff upstairs so this works um because going to do the other one but we're gonna go upstairs in a bit it's only it's only almost two o'clock that's it and we've done so much today already i think it's time for a nap okay guys so this is what the um uh, this is actually really cool and it's like some pictures from the movie show us that um second record mckaylee Oh, that is cool. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm going to have to steal this from you. No, you're not. <laughs> I bought this for my money. 
You know what? My money's your money, Michaela. You gotta share. That's cool. I really, I yeah, I think I want to get this too. This, yeah, we're liking this a lot, guys. Okay, guys, I wanted to show y'all something else that we got while we were out there. Um, at that box lunch place that I told y'all that Molly and the kids had gone to. I'm gonna try not to rock because I've noticed in prior videos I rock, but I keep this still so it makes it look all crazy. We found this Walt Disney World 50th anniversary. It says Walt Disney 50 at the top. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean dog. It doesn't say what his name is. I guess he doesn't have a name, but it does say Pirates of the Caribbean dog. And it is a, it's actually a box lunch exclusive. So I didn't know, I know that Target and like Walmart and stuff like that had their exclusives. I didn't know like these other places that I've never heard of had their own exclusives. So, but um, there's a little close up of them. It's cool. And it has the 50th anniversary on the back and stuff like that too. Number 1105, if that means anything. We usually take ours out of the box. Some of them we don't, like we have red, she's still in the box and the Dapper Dan's are still in the box too. And then, um, well, I'm gonna drop this one. The other one is, uh, Mickey Mouse on the People Mover. Literally, that's what it says. Another Walt Disney World 50, 50th anniversary one. Yeah, Molly Molly grabbed these two. I like this one a lot too. I like the Pirates of the... I love Pirates of the Caribbean as, as a ride. I love the whole thing. I love the movies. I love it all. Um, so I, I, like them, I like them both. And People Mover is one of my favorite... I call it a ride, but part of me doesn't even... It almost feels more like the monorail. It's just kind of nice to get on and kind of float around. But it looks like they have... Um, an additional Pluto, Stitch, and Mini you can get for this as well, and you can connect them. So I'm going to have to be on the... Hopefully, they're not out already. I was going to say I need to keep a outlook on them, but part of me wonders if they've already been released, and maybe they just didn't have it. But, um, oh, I'm looking at the numbers. They have not. This is 1163 for Mickey on the People Mover, and then it has 1164, 1165 for Stitch, and 11. 66 for many so it looks like there's going to be some more releases that i guess we're gonna to have to go back to box lunch to go get those because this one is really cool and i think it'd be cool to have the set so anyways i'm gonna go i think it's time for a nap all right i'm editing today's no yeah today's video liam is working on some art this is his inspiration so that's the inspiration this is his perspiration. What's what, that? That means this is what you put your sweat and tears and blood into. This looks good, bud. I'm very proud of you. Emma, let me see yours, baby. <gasps> that's beautiful. That was just the background. That's just the background? Okay, that's really, really good. Yeah, good job. Thank yeah, y'all yeah, are doing great. And then for lunch, I mean for dinner, we're making chicken enchiladas, which we always do um, a rotisserie chicken. It's just easier. It's cooked already. I don't know the last time we actually have used regular chicken, um, regular chicken breast for enchiladas. Like we use chicken breasts all the time for other stuff, but because this is already seasoned and cooked, we always just buy rotisserie. And this is from what? Is it Costco, Costco. We get them from Costco now because the ones from H-E-B are dinky. These ones are big. We do the enchilada sauce with green salsa and sour cream. And then we're always doing some vegetables. And then we also have chili for the chili enchiladas that we make as well. I'll show you, we basically do two sets of enchiladas. One's with the green chili and sour cream and chicken, and then the other ones are just chili enchiladas. I mean, that's really basically it, with cheese, it's cheese. Jaden Jaden loves those ones, so we always have two sets. I wanna start this, show you the finished product in a little bit. Super easy, super healthy, not really. <laughs> They're really good though, it is really good. I'll show you here in a sec. All right guys, dinner is served. So these are the sour cream and green chili mix with chicken in the middle and cheese on top. These are the chili, just chili, can of chili, put over it. There's no meat in it, it's just chili and cheese. So like chili cheese, almost like a hot dog, but it's chili cheese and chilada. Oh, there's, there's meat in there? In the chili. Oh yeah, there is meat in the chili. There's meat in this chili. Um, we also have some beans, there's extra chili. There's some vegetables Molly did up. It's extra chicken for the kids that didn't want it. And then there's some rice inside of the steam pot. What's it called? Instapot, Instapot, the Mickey one. This is what the finished product looks like. Grand, right? Looks good. So we're gonna chomp this up. And then um, we have a YouTube video of the Festival of Fantasy Parade that just came back today. I think today or maybe yesterday. So I think it's Jackie from Super Enthused and she always posts a day later. So I'm pretty sure this is probably yesterday. 
So we're gonna watch that, and then um, I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, back in the recliner, and the dinner was amazing. Kids are hanging out. I think McKaylee, not McKaylee. McKaylee's actually with one of her friends right now. One of her friends came over, and then Liam and Emma are doing a slumber party in their bedroom. It's a big hot mess with the blow-up mattresses and stuff like that in there. But they're having fun. It's spring break. Everyone's just having a good time. It's only Wednesday, so we're halfway through the week. But it's going nice and slow. Like, I enjoy not having a ton to do when we're, you know, doing a staycation because we go out and we do stuff, but overall, like, the pace is slow. So it just kind of, you know, just ride it out and enjoy it type of thing. Um, now, tomorrow, the kids are going to go and stay at their grandparents' house. First thing they have to do is in the morning, they have to go get um, haircuts. The three older ones do. Actually, no, it's just McKaylee and Jaden. I'm sorry, and Molly. They're going to go to get their hair done tomorrow. And then after that, they're going to go hang out at grandparents' house. And um, I think they they might be spending the night as well. And then Molly and I will have, I don't know, we were looking at movies to see if there's new movies that her and I would like um, that are not like, you know, kid stuff, whatever. But... We'll see. I don't know really know what the plans are, but, you know, Molly and I will have the afternoon basically kind of to ourselves. And, you know, so we might go to a movie, might go do something. Um, but anyways, that's going to that's gonna be it, I think, for this video. It was a good day. It was a good day. I'm glad that the parade's back at Disney World, by the way. We saw that. That looked really cool. No fire from the dragon like there was before, but I think that stopped right before we went last time in 2018 because it kind of caught on fire. So I get it. But um, yeah, it's cool to see some of these things coming back to Disney World. I'm ready to go back this summer, hopefully. But um, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for joining. And um, there'll be, hopefully there'll be something tomorrow for us to vlog because it's going to be a little less. It'll be a little more low-key with the kids at grandparents' house. So we'll see how it goes. But y'all, good night. And I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye.